Having dense breasts can put women at a higher risk of breast cancer and make the cancer more difficult to spot. Joining us now is Dr. Kelly McDenna, who is a radiologist specializing in breast imaging. Doctor, tell us first of all, what does dense breast mean and why aren't regular mammograms enough? Yeah, dense breast tissue, it is actually pretty common for us to see about 40% of all women have dense breast tissue. Breast tissue is pretty simple. It's basically made up of three different types of tissue. It's made up of glandular tissue, which is the working tissue of the breast, fibrous tissue, and fatty tissue. And on a mammogram, fibrous and glandular tissue is white, and fatty tissue is gray. Well, when we talk about dense breast tissue, we talk about people having more fibrous and glandular tissue as compared to fatty tissue. And when people have lots of fibrous and glandular tissue, which is white, but yet abnormalities are white on a mammogram, it can make it a lot more difficult for us to be able to see what we need to see. In fact, sometimes I tell patients, it's kind of like trying to find the snowman in the blizzard. You know, it's a lot more difficult sometimes for us to see what we need to see in somebody who has dense breast tissue. We also now know that having dense breast tissue can put people at a slightly higher risk for developing breast cancer. People aren't exactly sure why that is. It's not an independent risk factor, meaning we take it into consideration with other risk factors, but I think it is important for patients to know that if you have dense breast tissue, it does make it a little bit harder for us to be able to see things on the mammogram, and it does slightly increase your risk of breast cancer. So now we all get a letter in the mail, mail after our uh, evaluations telling us if we do have dense breasts, and, and I've even gotten a letter telling me my lifetime risk. Mm -hmm. Women like us need more screening. What can we use to see those potential cancers? Yeah, so for women that have dense breast tissue, it might be important for them to talk with their primary care provider about whether or not maybe doing some supplemental screening in addition to the mammogram might be helpful. And when I talk about supplemental screening, I mean a screening ultrasound or a screening MRI. Adding a screening ultrasound or a screening MRI to the mammogram can potentially increase our cancer detection rate in women that have dense breast tissue. Those tools look at dense breast tissue a little bit differently than a mammogram does, and we potentially can find cancers even smaller at a smaller and earlier stage so that treatment could be even more effective. Um, I think it's important to remember though that we still want people that have dense breast tissue to get their mammograms. A lot of cancers are still seen on mammogram and mammogram is the only way we can see calcifications, which are little sugar or salt granules that are only seen on a mammogram. They are typically benign, but sometimes they can represent an early form of breast cancer. So it's still important to get those mammograms. So oftentimes but when we add a, a screening a ultrasound or MRI, that may help with detection. Right, a combination of screenings is often the key. So just once again, tell us why it's important for women to find out their risk and, and how soon, at what age should we be talking with our doctors saying, hey, what is my risk of breast cancer? Yeah, I think that, you know, it's starting in our 20s, really, and 30s is really is a good time to start talking with your primary care provider about your potential risks for breast cancer. And most primary care providers can do risk assessments on their patients. The American Cancer Society considers that anyone that has a 20% or greater lifetime risk of developing breast cancer is considered at significant risk. And they do recommend that in those patients that have a risk over 20%, that they add a yearly MRI in addition to their screening mammogram every year. All right, potentially life-saving information here from Dr. McKen uh, McDonough. Excuse me, thank you so much for joining okay. us today. Thank you, Wendy.